Welcome back to the Pig Trail Show. We have our recruiting guy, Otis Kirk, now with us. And Otis, we have such a very important month coming up for Arkansas yeah. and Chad Morris and his staff. I mean, the month of December is really going to dictate how this 2019 class is going to go. I know that they're on the road recruiting. They'll continue to recruit next week. One of the biggest visits they're going to make Thursday to Kelly Bryant in home visit. Yeah, and that's huge. And, you know, I think maybe one less <laughs> One less competitor for him with the firing over at North Carolina, of course, of their head coach. So, but didn't really think he was going to North Carolina anyway. But you always like to eliminate someone. But uh, yeah, that's that's huge because that's one of their priorities left in this class. Obviously, is adding an older quarterback translated to adding Kelly Bryant. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got, you know, they'll see him, and then a. You know, the next week he'll make his decision. So, I mean, this is coming down to the wire for him. You know, everybody asks me, will he get Kelly Bryant? I've said from day one that till I hear differently, I think he's coming to Arkansas. But we'll see. I mean, that's not guaranteed. You know, he's obviously Auburn's in there, you know, yeah. Missouri, Mississippi State, North Carolina, I guess. I mean, you know, I don't think so. But, you know, I mean, he hasn't sure. said he's taken them out. So, I, but yeah, that's a huge pick. I mean, that would be a huge get for. Chad Morris and them. In fact, I don't think it's the case, but some people will deem the success or failure of this class on them getting Kelly Bryant, whether that's fair or not. I, you know, and I don't think that's much off because <laughs> I really think that kind of dictates how you want to set up everything when you have exit yeah. interviews with a lot of people at the end of the year, yeah. how that's going to dictate what Morris wants to do moving forward. Again, December 4th, that big day where Kelly Bryant will announce his decision. Chad Morris's birthday, too, so. Ooh, <laughs> I don't know if that plays right? into it. Any kind but. of significance there, I like it. Well, obviously another issue that they want to focus on is the offensive line. They've got some JUCO guys they're really looking at. Where are they in terms of getting guys in? Well, they'll come in on December 7th through the 9th. It's Myron Cunningham from Iowa Central and Chibusi Nawana from uh, uh, Lackawanna. And uh, those are the two priorities. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that would give them five offensive linemen in the class if they got both those kids. And then you've got Andrew Vest, who will also be in on December the 7th, not just agreed to walk on, be a preferred walk on. And of course, they're still recruiting Logan Callison and Shiloh Christian as a preferred walk on. So, but yeah, I mean, to get, though, to get five offensive linemen and, you know, to go with the quarterback and everything else they've got, if that's, that would be closing out the class really well. To hold what you've got, and then you add Kelly Bryant and the two junior college offensive linemen, and that would you know be a full class, and you'd be sitting pretty good. I mean, and that's why I think they will do that, and I think they'll finish out strong. Now, I don't know if they'll get both those JUCO kids, mm -hmm. but I think they'll get at least one of them. But uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they got both of them. I, I just think that's the way recruiting's going right sure. now. They're really closing well. And it's amazing if they could do all that on a two and ten season, it's going to leave people really amazed, you know, at the how they're doing it. You know, I want to ask you about that because that has been kind of a topic of conversation yeah. that's been brought up is how is he continuing to recruit? How does this two and ten season reflect the recruiting? And it's really not. These kids are buying into what Chad Morris is selling. Are you getting that a little? Yeah, bit? yeah, yeah. And you know, I've got that in the story today too. And I think I had it actually in after Friday's game in the story too. The, the quote from Chad on that that you know they're selling the future. They're selling an idea here, and these kids are buying in, mm -hmm. and they're selling instant playing time. I mean, he's made no secret of that. I mean, you come in here, you're going to have a chance to play, and all these kids like to hear that. You know, now you know that's something that. Even if they don't start or something, if they come in and they provide competition, competition makes everyone yeah. better. So if a kid comes in, but he doesn't start, but he makes the returning player better, everyone wins that Absolutely. way. Absolutely. Well, December 19th through the 21st is that early signing period for football. How do you think that's going to shape up in terms of who Arkansas can sign early? I think they'll sign the majority of the class in. Okay. I don't think they'll sign it all. I, I, I would guess of 29 kids, I would think they'd probably get 23 to 25 early. There'll be some signed late, and, and like Noah Gatlin signed late last year, even though he was committed. Right. That signing day, that signing period, that early signing period falls kind of over school holiday. And yeah. some of the kids have family out of town. I think that was the deal with Noah last mm -hmm. year. You know, so a lot of his family and friends couldn't make it to that press conference, so he just signed late. Mm -hmm. So it's not that if someone doesn't sign early, they're You're wavering. Hey, yeah, no, they're not yeah. wavering. It was just it's it's like I said, that's a that's a date that's kind of difficult in the sense that most most schools are out. You know, kids are preparing, yeah. family have planned 
Christmas vacation, Christmas uh, travel plans, so it's kind of a different date. Sure. That's, a, that's a good point that you make right there, because I don't think some fans will see it that way, or even think to honestly <laughs> look at it yeah. that way, but again, 19th through the 21st, that early signing yeah. period, so a very big December is basically the theme right now. It is huge for recruiting, and Chad Morris, for the first year, he just came in trying to figure out what was going on. Now he's had a whole year under his belt to get ready for this. Yeah, and he had a very good class that first time. It wasn't bad. Right. It wasn't this caliber. But, no, if he closes with Kelly and those two Juco kids and gets the other two kids that's privately committed, then he's going to know December the 19th through the 21st who all he's getting. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, he's not going to probably sign them all. He said the other day he wouldn't sign them all early. Right. But, uh, but to know – that that's who you've got. And I'll tell you another factor that's big on that, uh, Lisa, is the fact if that happens, then they can turn their attention to 2020 class mm -hmm. and spend a lot of January recruiting that 2020 class. That's and that's a that's a p positive of the early signing period is for lack of a better word, you don't have to babysit the commitments they are signed. So, right. you know, you don't, you don't ignore them, but I mean, sure. you don't, not like you used to where you had to continue to recruit those guys hard because they could always flip on you. But uh, that's one positive. Out there. There's some not so positive, but that's one huge positive. But, uh, yeah, it's just allow them to really get a head start on that 2020 class. And if they can do that, that would be big as well. We're keeping an eye on, of course, the first things first, that December 4th announcement by Kelly Bryant. But coming up before then on Friday, Friday, we've got some state games here in, in Arkansas, and we've got a lot of future Hogs playing in those. Yeah, well. Hudson Henry is playing, and, you know, PA plays uh, Little Rock Christian. You've got Hudson Henry, John David White from Pulaski Academy, wide receiver. His dad was a golfer here. Then on the other side, you've got Justice Hill, who will be a basketball player here, son obviously of Fitz Hill, very outstanding former assistant coach here. And they're going to go at it Friday night at Little Rock at War Memorial Stadium. And i tell you what. That, we were laughing on the way back from Missouri. We were talking about that's not going to be a shutout. Uh -huh. Now, there's going to be some offense in that game. And, I mean, if you like offense, come out there Friday night and watch those two teams because they're going to, their scoreboard is going to be rolling with those two teams, which now means it'll probably be 10 to 7. But uh, now on Saturday night, Bryant plays uh, North Little Rock. North Little Rock has some good players. Mm -hmm. uh, none of them have Arkansas offers right now, but I think some of them will have in the future, maybe the 2020 class. Uh, then Kittrell Wallace plays for Bryant, an outside linebacker who has been offered by Arkansas. Got offered at the, uh, I want to say the Vanderbilt game. And uh, so th that's going to be a good game too. And then of course Greenwood plays uh, Greenwood plays the noon game, so, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be interesting to see what they do in that game. You know, Rick Jones just gets there, it seems yeah. like, every year. I mean, he just continues to roll on. Yeah, there's a lot of talent down in Greenwood. We all know that, yeah. of course. The Morgan brothers, Drew and Grant, yeah. and then, of course, Connor Noland as well. So state games on Friday, recruiting throughout the whole month of December. It doesn't slow down. Football's over, but it doesn't slow down, notice. No, it never slows down. Not not with the signing period the way it is now. Yeah. Soon, soon as the late signing period is, comes and goes, comes and goes, I'm yeah. sorry, uh, you're going to see junior days start up. Mm -hmm. So, no, it, recruiting is a year-round sport. It's a sport in itself. Sure. I don't know if people realize <laughs> that, but recruiting is truly a sport in itself now. Yeah, and that's why we have you do what you do. <laughs> Our recruiting expert right here, Otis Kirk. Thanks so much. Always love talking to you every Sunday. You bet, listen. All right, and you can always read his stuff on hogville.net as well. The Big Draw Nation show rolling on after this.